Welcome back, fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745 here with my continuing playthrough of Kaiser Reich on the Hearts of Iron 4 engine and got a Okay, sure thing, drunken barbarian. Um yeah, and so we're gonna continue playing our campaign here. Right now we are still um repairing and expanding the Habs Habsburg Empire. You know, and I'm thinking about the um, Ray Ness's um, austerity idea. You know, what if, what if the government were to go to, and I, I know you have the National Health Service and, and some of the stuff that is government funded, but what if Britain was to go for um, massive austerity for um, support for for people for poor people. What if they were to do that? I mean, just cut massively cut payments back for for people because you have a booming job market because everyone who can work would work what if they were to do that you know what if you were to have a booming economy like we're starting to have in america now and so what if they were to do that and just really cut back because hey why do you need to um give uh single mothers payments because hey she can go get a job and she can have enough job to pay for, you know, put her, put the young child in daycare. And the mother who who doesn't have a lot of skills, she can be a daycare person and take care of her child and, say, six other children and get paid for that. And not a lot per child, but taking care of six, just six, six, child, six children, you know, over the age of three or four or something for, you know, six or eight hours a day. Why not have a, an economy based upon those that can um, can work? Now, I'm not talking about either older people or uh, people with real medical handicaps that can't work. I'm not talking about cutting back their support. But I'm talking about without London's financial services. That's what it is currently, AZADS. But... Uh, America, because of our trade war with China, Apple's moving uh, manufacturing jobs to America. Car manufacturers are opening up more plants here in America again because they're no longer planning or relying upon, say, parts being made in China and shipped over here and assembled here. So they're part manufacturers because they killed off some of the major aftermarket part manufacturers here. Um, it's like if you get a, you have a car, you need a new carburetor for the, you know, it's an older car, but you need a new carburetor for it. You can get the factory model or you can get a, um, I think Delco was one of the major, um, Dominionist win in South Africa. Okay. So the pro British win down here looks like, okay. Um, and a lot of those jobs, um, the aftermarket type jobs were moving to China now the jobs are moving back. What if, because of situations, more manufacturing needs to be taken place in Britain and not somewhere else? Doesn't have a large enough population for that to be feasible. Well, I don't know. Especially with a lot of modern um, uh, Uh, what's the right uh, automation where you can manufacture things and you just need people to take care of the machines so you and to a lesser extent run the machine so less human stuff people will be pushed before they just vote austerity out of power probably would have been better this election if not for brexit 
but on a scale maybe it, it won't work a bit yeah it just you know i i can't intelligently speak on um in britain how much the government is support you know what the government can af can afford to do because there's a difference between want to and can and at some point you sort of kind of need to go we just can't afford this whatever this may be and what it should so i i can only talk conceptually on it Because, you know, if the government's going to have government run in health care, obviously the government has to do, do that and is going to have to tax the people to do that. So, and that's what the current choice that Britain has made. Um, well, it made it way back when, but nations within a state, federal, yeah, we, we definitely want to go this path. It's the only one open. One of Britain's major issues, in my opinion, is the amount of people taking advantage of the welfare system. I know countless people that essentially choose not to work. Yes, and that that is a very real thing. I believe in a certain level of, again, for those for the able body under a certain age, um, you know, what, whatever it might be, to do some sort of work for government support payments. And it might just be, two, three days a week, you know, full, full eight hours, or it might just be five days a week, four hours, or whatever it might be, and it might be almost make work kind of jobs, you know. If you're in Scotland, stand over on that street corner wearing a kilt so when the tourists go by, you can wave at them. You know, I mean, something, I mean, literally as ridiculous as that, as just add color to, uh, to you know, tourists, and I don't know what, you know, ha have have two people standing on a street corner near where tourists are going whales talking to each other in Welsh, um, you know, or something like that, just to give local flavor to, to tourists, you know, just to have make work jobs to get government support. And so, and I haven't read um, the last big couple of paragraphs, but a friend of mine who I knew rather well um, when I was living in Scotland, he was in a catch-22. He was working at a high-end store on Prince's Street as a, um, you know, guy who worked on the sales floor kind of thing, um, but sort of high-end and, and did a, a fairly professional job at, at that. But he was also on government assistance, financial payments, a mix of those. And so... The problem was that if he worked more hours than he did, he wouldn't get the government assistance, but the additional money he would be making wouldn't equal the government assistance that he was getting. So it was, in essence, a part-time job that the government paid more. But if he got more money, moved it to just, like, more or less a full-time or not sort of full-time or whatever, but what his job might allow him to do at the company. Um, if he moved it to that, he would lose all the government support elements of it, um, payments. So it in total be less. So it would mean less money for him to live on. So, and he, when I knew him there, he didn't have a good option to go get a better job that would just you know, pay well enough. So he was quite willing to work and he went to work. I think it was five days a week. It was either four or five days a week. So he went to work. He was a working man. He worked, but he didn't work full time because of this. And it was this sort of real sort of funny place. So he wanted to um, not be on government support, but he wasn't going to do a personal austerity to, to fully get off government support. But could he, if he could have worked, you know, to get to what would be a full time job, you know, 40 hours a week or whatever it was, consider that in Britain at the time, get to a full time job and get more than it, the government support, he would have gladly done it. Because and I know this because he was actively working and, and doing things. So he wasn't just sitting home playing video games or or hanging out or whatever. He was doing it and he had his own, he had his own apartment and his own home and whatnot. But that was his 
um, situation. So I know that government programs, you know, can be abused. I don't think he was abusing his program, um, but the program wasn't designed well to to move you off of um, its program. So let me scroll up. I do want to catch what. Um, let me, yeah, taking advantage. I believe Norway has a minimum wage, but people get a decent wage, low skilled jobs because the unions and such. Well, yeah, Norway also has its um, oil reserves. It's making a lot of money. It's not about production tax eats. It's about demand, low population, low demand. Yeah, but Britain can be an exporter too. Um, AZ's. ads. Trust me, there's lots of products. You want to, like high-end shortbread to America is in all of the major um, uh, grocery stores here. There's a lot of products that, that Britain um, can make and sell to America. Uh, it just needs to do it right and do it well. I'm a social democrat, though, while I favor a market economy, I'm not remotely against intervention in certain state-owned industries when free market hasn't been effective, like the trains. Okay. In what you're saying there, Reynes, um free market is, in my opinion, always going to be the best. But I don't know if trains because of their very nature, needing to run on a railroad, you know, on a rail tracks, are a free and open market. I think they're a controlled market. I think they are, generally speaking, a local monopoly. So they're monopolistic. It's like a, a power company wherever you are. Um, you know, especially the company that owns the power lines that transmits the power to the homes. You may very well have, and sometimes here in the U.S., have a company that oh, I don't know, builds a power plant or like it could be like a wind farm or a uh, solar farm and then sells the electrical power to the other company, but they don't own all of the lines going to the house. You can't have, say, three or four different power companies all having lines to the house that you live in and you just get to turn a dial to which one you want to get the power from based upon which one's the cheapest or the cleanest because actually electricity can be clean or less clean though you can sort of clean it up the frequency or something like that you can't just switch between electrical companies but i can go to different grocery stores so so long as there isn't a monopoly meaning one grocery store chain here in america servicing a city or something like that so long as it is a free market and that there is a competitiveness, I think it's always going to be better. But if something becomes a something like a utility or a monopoly situation, then you need a certain level of state intervention. Now, should that mean state ownership or state regulation or state management or, you know, you can have different degrees of that and it can vary from company to comp or you know, industry to industry of what it's going um a ikb who's often here but not here now maybe because he's at work on your railway system in the southeast uh you know, southwest sorry southwest of britain i don't know his particular company that he works at he could probably tell you some good things on the trains or bad things on the trains and that type of thing but there you definitely need a, a level of regulation um whether it should be government owned i don't know if that's better that's what i'm doing receiving welfare but i have to work 32 hours a week in a second hand store lifting heavy stuff and delivering things i don't mind because i feel you get some, something you must do if you can yeah oh yes i i get your your drift arno Sounds a town Victorian. We did try that for some companies that took advantage of. Yeah, I understand Drunken Barbarian about taking advantage of some of this stuff. Um, but I'm not necessarily suggesting that um, the work requirement 
shouldn't, I would presume, generally speaking, be for private industry, you know, turning up for the state benefit to get the state benefit. I'm saying working for the state. You got to show up. Like here in America, we often have um, low level people um, convicted of low level crimes clean up alongside the highways. But, you know, instead, instead of going to jail, sometimes they maybe actually work, you know, jail people, but often it's just people, oh, yeah, you, you're you assigned to, you know, 100 days community service kind of thing. So thank you, very loud motorcycle. So you get a, a sign, you know, you got to show up in there and they take you to wherever they want to, you know, pick up trash on the side of the roadway, light work, um, you know, and it may just be, you know, weekends. You know, so 100 days of weekends or something. So if you have a, a real job or something like that, but you have to do something unpaid um, to do that. So you could do something like that for people making them work. I got to gotta get playing again. Yep, trains are things that rely on special limited infrastructure. Yeah, yeah, there. Yeah. So it's but even, you know, so, um, you know, so. You know, you got you got to look at what industry and but even, you know, if Google becomes too much of a monopoly it's no longer a free market so long as it, it, there is a market meaning um a, where there is competition going on i always think it is the best it may not be perfect and i'm sure that every single industry every single thing you can point problems to but i still think it's going to be less than if it was the government run problems whether it's a fascist type government or whether it's a socialist type government or a communist type government, that's always going to be worse than the free market. But if you allow a market to no longer be free, maybe because of government regulations, but whatever that means, if the market becomes no longer free, then it is, it is not a good thing to judge what is free market. That's where most of the times... Um, when people criticize capitalism historically, they're criticizing state capitalism or state government run things and calling that capitalism. And that is a form of capitalism, but it isn't free market or capitalism. It is, you know, state controlled. So, yeah. Give everything back to the monarchy, invade France. Well, I think it is about time for Britain and France to go to war together. Unfortunately, you'd likely use modern weapons and destroy too much of your own com country. Maybe, you know, Maybe you guys should think about this and the French should think about this. If you were to just go, we're only going to use 18th century, you know, musket type weapons. Britons can use rifles because they're smart. Rifles, you know, flintlock rifles and, you know, smooth board artillery. And go and have a good war with the French. You know, just for the fun of it. Yeah, full, full fledged war, you know, with, with, with real proper dying and real proper whatever. I, I think it's about time for one of those. I don't know who what the winner gets. I don't really think Britain wants to own France. I think that would be Peru has joined the Buenos Aires Lima Access. Okay. Mm, do we care? I don't. Yeah, get it all out of your system. Just 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 have a good fun war. Just have a good fun war. Oh yeah, drunken barbarian. I I figured you you'd be one of those for that. Just have, just have a good, fun war. You you can go wear, you know, the old colors again, you know, French in their white uniforms and the British in their um, red coats and just go at it again, you know. Have a nice, have a nice little war. Have fun, improve fire control systems. I don't know. Let's do some... Yeah, like I say, I don't know what we give the we give the winners. Um, I 
let's see the research we're going to be doing for weapons coming up mostly well we got this and then we got 1940 here well, we're also going to be doing artillery and we're doing artillery so let's see about an artillery manufacturer yeah i'm just looking here motorized towed artillery Heart attack, soft attack. Let's go with those guys. I don't know which one's better, but we'll just go with one of them. For a pith and a Mark One Martini. Yes. Yes. So that might be better to go fight the Zulus with, but still. Because maybe then you'd have to fight against the LaBelle rifle. I don't know. I guess you'll just have to settle for soccer riots. To, to get that out of your system, you can go bunch of you, you can go and have a riot over in France over soccer games who wins who loses what not I just really don't s destroyers might be useful but yeah active sonar will do that you may improve some of those at some point okay um Thanks for the warning. I'll I'll see about um, saving over um, copy of the mod. Like I have to make a, and this is part of my problem with the black ice situation is is I have to grab because they they up their they their game so much so often I have to grab a copy of the game and move it to another folder and, and rename it something different. So even though they put out bug fixes and other things, it doesn't get into my playthroughs because of um, playing with an older version to keep it stable through it. Okay, Chief of the Air Force. Naval bombing. I like naval bombers, but pair drops. I don't know. Close air support, maybe. Interception. Oh, that looks like a good. Yeah, let's go with this guy. Brom, Brom, Moski. Yeah, be here by Christmas. Although World War was. Yeah, didn't say which Christmas. That's. Mobilize the economy. Well, currently we are at partial early mobilization and Yeah, I guess there isn't Oh, one of the following must be true or more than 40 25 percent war support. Okay. Well, we have enough war support so we will do Partial mobilization there we go We're almost filled up on fuel, so let's see about cutting back on our fuel um, imports. Cause yeah, we we don't. I don't think we need all this. So let's let's end this now. And it's taking longer to go up. Let's see if we'll drop. Yeah, okay. We can slowly get that up. That frees up a factory. The 
for better subs yeah there are some focuses for the Navy I haven't looked into them over here flexible warfare Austrian small ship plan large Navy plan I don't, I don't know if there really is so much for subs dockyard that'd be nice I think that's good we'll probably see about going to small ship flexible I don't want a big one okay well let's see any of these add factories rocket technology rifle trials infantry weapons In national army which grants divisional organization tank trials No, only that one seems to do additional production. Protector of the Balkans. Approaching Albania, approaching Greece. Intervention in Yugoslavia, which we basically, I think, have bypassed. Military factories down through here. Industrial plans, okay, that's good. Thanks, thanks for the win. Yeah, thanks, always good. Oh, I didn't think about that. You're right. We now have them as a puppet. Yeah, I don't know some of these um, uh, symbols here that they're using red stars and whatnot. I think they're just recycled things. All red stars, is it? Build up naval bombers. We are building up naval bombers. I have I didn't deploy many because just didn't have it. We have 160 in reserve. I like naval bombers. I'm going to if we ever really get a naval opponent, the Italians or something, we will be using that. And we're building up close air support and fighters and bombers. Let's see, we could move, oh, why did I jump around? I don't know. Pause. See about moving some of my mountain troops over here. Don't know whether Greece is more likely to be a thing or having to deal with Italian either intervening into Italy or having them come north at me. Oh, we'll leave the others down there. Okay, anti tank upgrades, very good. And we'll do new artillery. Um, goal fall. Um, well, it had been and still sort of is rebuild the 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 Habsburg Empire. I don't know how far we get in this. Partially, this is just riding through the chaos of um, nations within a state, uh, the chaos of Kaiserreich. Hungary accepts reintegration. Hungarian government has agreed to our proposal. Okay. State is now core. The Danube in Federation annexes Hungary political power. Plus 20%. Earlier. Oh, pause, pause. Okay. Um, 
Leary accepts reintegration. Okay. And Galicia Logdomeria accepts. Okay. And Slovakia accepts. Transylvania accepts reintegration. Bohemia accepts reintegration. So now we have the Danubian Federation. So we have achieved that goal. I was going to say ladies and gentlemen, but I presume just gentlemen. I would love it if ladies were. And we also have a new flag. We're going to have to change the, the look and feel for the thing, maybe. I don't know. From Austria to to the Danubian Federation yellow and black very good now we have a lot more military factories you can't join the Greek Civil War I don't know that we want to join the Greek Civil War let them have fun so well let's see now we want stuff okay, we still we're still building light tanks um, we haven't been building just because we really haven't been facing an opponent with any real air power. Um, let's go back to building more aircraft. And I think more support equipment as well. Now that means we're also going to need to trade for more rubber. German East Asia, I guess we'll grab another one from there. Is Romania, I think it's still a puppet, isn't it? Yes, they're a puppet of us now. They are still a puppet, yes. And Serbia, I think, is still a puppet, yes. So we still have two puppets that we got from our war down there. Yes, well, I was thinking of decentralized development scheme. Yeah, that would be nice. Okay, what we'll do here, going with um, Arno's suggestion, we're going to get Skoda here, which will give us research bonus for armored technology. Skoda is a bohemian company. Yes, I'm using that term because of this, but up here. Okay, and we also now have a lot more civilian factories. I was worried about building... Um, outside of Austria proper before. Well, let's see. If we were to build, yeah, down here. I don't want to build too close to Germany just in case we have a problem with Germany. Okay, that will take up all of our current. Now, let's see. Um... What the? Well, I don't know. Build some. Okay, we can't build in our puppets area i don't have enough technology but let's see about building some radars there to get a little better look in many more factories have come online from our areas Well, let's build a, a production line of transport planes, but we'll go to two at least to start with. Because they're going to build really slowly until they get graded. Yeah, we already have everything else. At least one line, production line of it. We'll go to five. 
We'll add another five there. There we go. A lot more steel will be needed. And we have free dockyards. So let's see. Yeah, just three more. So we will increase our sub production, which is even more steel, which means we'll need to import. Mm, 21, 21. Switzerland? Yeah, we'll bring in some Swiss steel. Oh, looks like we picked up a few more DDs from Illyria. Mm. Yeah, we're watching the German border. That's a good idea, I think. It's also a good idea to watch out here. Now notice these units which we got from our then, oh no, then puppets has stayed with the, that flag from the meeting of their nations gone now. How interesting. Probably should reorganize a bit. I'll do that some other time. Just like a Kaiser is not boosting of material when you're when you build infrastructure. Yeah. I can see that being a thing. Go down and watch them down there in case they get Problematical. Socialist Republic of Italy declared war on the two Sicilies. Okay, so the two Sicilies is um, here. Okay, so it's these guys. Hmm. Do we want to send volunteers down there? They look like a good monarchy to support. Hmm, would that be an idea? Hmm. Let's see, if we were to create an army here of... Yeah, Mountain Trooper. Lots of mountains in Italy. Oh, what are their 
what OBs look like. Hold on, I want to look at. We got a bunch more because we got inherited a bunch of units. Alpen Jaeger edit. Okay, well, let's see. We can improve some of this probably. Um, engineer. There's a few units here. Reconnaissance. Anti tank. Okay, we well, yeah, we have all the things, including the manpower. Now, because we're the big empire, we have two million manpower. So now is really the time we can expand a lot of that. So let's actually see about now putting. Um, we stopped. Oh no, I don't want to edit, but that's the one I want to do. And is this the right one? Yeah. Okay, the mountain forces will have them appear in their sort of traditional area up here. Infantry will have them appear out here in Hungary. I'm a little more afraid of stuff coming from there. So, um... And maybe two regular infantry divisions. Let's see what does this one look like? Template wise, okay, this one sucks. So what we're gonna okay, what we're gonna do is come here and convert it to that. Yes. To one of our much better ones. And we'll give it to him. And look at this. Yeah, another bad template. I don't know if we have enough stuff to Fully, oh, no support on this guy? Oh, no, wait a minute. Um, no, okay. Yes, that's. Yeah, okay, there, there, there. You should have a um, post guard so when the second Welter Creek happens, you won't be. Navally invaded. Oh, ports guard. Right. Oh, yes. Um, yeah, we should do that. Militia sounds like that. Hey, thanks for following. What? So? Glad to have you here. Militia units are still useful in that they do take up manpower, but they don't take up a lot of equipment power to produce them and whatnot hello Ari didn't say hi for at first very good. Hey, Emperor. Yeah, we've created the, the Danubian Federation under the Haps, House of Habsburg, given it a more um, generic title than the Austro-Hungarian Empire, so that they all can feel special or whatever the Italian Republic declared war on the socialists. Okay, well, let's... Let's come down here and let's see if we can send volunteers. We want to send, oh, no, you selected, okay, um, two. Okay, so they only want to, they can only possibly do two. So unassigned unit, yes, and unassigned unit, yes. Okay, now. Send volunteers. 
less division. Okay. So we'll do that. The two sisters will allow volunteers. Okay, let's see. I'm going to give a little bit of a history talkie here. Not terribly long. You, I'll uh, just wipe out the yeah Italian Social Republic. Wait, why isn't Italy part of your faction or puppet? I miss something. There. It never was. The Italian Republic wasn't part of it. Now, okay. Trying to remember back. If I remember correctly, the Habsburgs, some of this I know is correctly, but again, this is going without it. The Habsburgs ruling out of Vienna, I'm sort of specifying as that, um, inherit uh, the Spanish throne. So they're basically, well, yeah, basically they move their um, their capital uh, to Spain, and it moves sort of around to wherever the court is. It isn't always, say, in Madrid or somewhere, but it's in here, and that's the um, monarchy. I forget. I think Charles something or other, but that's the monarchy that sends out the um, Spanish Armada. They have the Spanish Netherlands up here. That's where the, the Armada was, hey, all the ships come up here, go here, um, control this. Then there was a bunch of invasion barges already set up and a huge Spanish army that just here anyways occupying the Spanish Netherlands, partially to keep the Dutch from revolting, partially, you know, to fight the the Burgundians, the, um, the sort of the French monarchy, the, you know, the Hanoverians, the Bavarians, the um, the Hessians, um, you know, uh, all the different different principalities. So it's sort of, you know, in this area. So there's already a large army up here. And so there we're going to use the, and I'm off track, I know already, but um, use the, uh, the Spanish Armada just to sort of control the channel enough to get the ships across or the boat landing barges across enough for the invasion. Obviously, you know what happens to that. Well, that's going on. And I'm trying to remember. There, there's a conflict, and I don't remember exactly what it is. What rules? Is it Maria Teresa? Send Air Force. Ah, that's a good idea. Um, I think it's... Because Maria Teresa, I think that is, is the Habsburg heir. And there's rules for the Spanish monarchy in that it needs to be a, a man, if I remember correctly. And this is probably where I'm going wrong. The Eighty Years' War. Um, yes, you, 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 the Protestants did, the... the the Flemish Catholics weren't um, beaten. They didn't. They didn't drive them out. But yeah, you guys in the north did. Um, I think it was over Maria Theresa. Um, the War of Habsburg Succession, I think, or Austrian Succession. War of Austrian Succession. I think that's it. Well. That's a lot of geopolitics going on and this. Basically, the Bourbons... Oh, well, okay. During the, the time of various Charles Habsburg monarchies, they get in control of Sicily and down in Naples. They've also pushed into basically this area. Not Venice, though. Um, not the Republic of Venice, but a lot of this area of Italy. Um, may have some control over some of the other um, stuff. And I know you EU players may know some of this pretty well. Um, still people of Spanish lineage in Scotland and Ireland. From Yes, 
Well, the retreat, yes, the the boats crashing, landing, whatever, running out of supplies and coming ashore. Uh, very much so. And so um, during this time, the Habsburg monarchy is basically the most powerful monarchy. You can talk about the French with its more centralized state maybe being more powerful, but not really. Um, biggest problem for the Habsburgs is that, yes, they control Spain. They control the colonies. I mean, it, there are some well-developed urban city areas out here, and then there's a lot of, well, still a lot of very wild areas, too. So it, it, it varies. You know, it, it's not all one thing here in, in the New World, but the Habsburgs are controlling all of that. The Habsburgs, yeah, like, you know, for a while are up in here, controlling much of Italy, um, often... Uh, it's a Habsburg-controlled or supported pope. Uh, so they're controlling a lot of these different areas. Sometimes they are areas that are nominally independent, but either it is the ruler is the same ruler, meaning like for a while before the Act of Union in Britain, you know, um, Elizabeth dies without a clear you know, well, no child of her own. The heir is James the First of England. Well, he's the King of Scotland and he's the King of England. They have entirely separate governments. It's just the same guy as the king in two places. You know, so eventually, in 1707, they did the Act of Union, and that's a whole other mess over the um, uh, colony debacle down here. And oh God, the the um, what is it? The Darien colony that fails, bankrupts many of the um, wealthy people. There weren't just like lords and titled people, but many of the wealthy people in, in Scotland are bankrupt. And oh, yes, Queen um, Anne, yeah, yeah, yeah. You do this act of union, we'll um, pay off your, your debts and get you out of bankruptcy and whatnot and get you solvent. If you just support the act of union, yeah. But, so then, but then they get sort of a unified government. So some of the situation with the Habsburg is the Habsburg is the ruler in Austria, you know, you know, sort of Austria, Vienna. Now, don't think they didn't have like this little principality here and a principality over here and this little city over here. I mean, it wasn't just this big, you know, separation of map. It was, and I know a lot of you know this, but sort of all over the place. So it's like the same guy ruling here and the same, and he rules here, but it's one set of bureaucracy over here and army over here and one set of bureaucracy and army over here. So it's not a unified under the Habsburgs and I'm oversimplifying this and I'm forgetting details that I used to know from my university days because I don't keep up on all this. But I'm just trying to explain it isn't like the Habsburg Empire, like as if it were the Roman Empire or something, all a unified state. It's all kinds of various states. So as well as being, shall we say, in some cases, lesser Habsburgs controlling other little areas that are dependent upon the major one. Though there's not a whole lot of that, I don't think, but there's some of that. Well, then you get the split. Um, the French basically sort of win in Spain. The Bourbons, I should say, even more to the fact. But this really freaks Britain out and freaks a lot of other powers out. So... A settlement is made in which, um, I know this is a long convoluted path to get here, um, in which the Bourbon king of Spain will not be the same person as the Bourbon kingdom, king of France. So they can be of the same family, they can be brothers or something, but they can't be the same person. This is why you have, and there's actually sort of two, there's the Carlos claimant, which he is a Bourbon and there's a um, other Bourbon, um, I th which is the current Bourbon um, king of Spain. And so the the Bourbons, the Bourbons, um, I'm saying it different ways, I know, um, monarchy gets Spain out of the, from the Habsburgs, but they also get down here, it's, eventually becomes called the Kingdom of Two Sicilies. 
but they get down here where most of the Aus other what maintains Habsburg or Austrian, whatever you want to call it, possessions are in northern Italy. And so there is definitely an Austrian history down here, but not as a unified government. So there is a significant... Um, uh, history shall we say there is a significant anti-austrian feeling in italy because it goes to um garibaldi's um mostly it's garibaldi somewhat getting rid of some local monarchs but also his big real threat is getting rid of the um Habsburg controlled territories in the north now let me look at they aren't okay the french population was much higher at the time so paris was powerful um they weren't pale skinned they came real celts they tend to be brown or with curly hair yes oh you're talking about the, the survivors from there yes and how holland was able to get independent yeah i'm just reading through um and with outside help, of course. Yes, Holland would not have gotten its independence, in my opinion, um, Arno, without very heavy um, English support and also other Protestant uh, support, at least uh, materiel, you know, weapons, gunpowder, money, that kind of thing. Um, sure, the, the Dutch did the dying. I'm sure they fought hard and bravely, but I think it would have been a lost cause without the outside support. And yes, probably the America would have been the lost cause without particularly French support. Um, uh, yeah, it would have been a lost cause. Don't forget the best leader, um, Charles II of Spain. Uh, he was the ballsiest and zestiest insider of the or ancestor. Oh yes. His chin is amazing. Yes, yes, yes. Alabama 1000. Well, Alabama isn't, it's more, um, oh, I don't know, um, Tennessee or somewhere like that. Yes. Sent about the independence. Oh, yes, I understand. Um, I'm not going to read it right now, but you, um, if you want me to read it, post it in the Discord chat, and I'll take a look at it later. Yeah, no, I rem I had courses on it back in university many years ago, and I've read some historical fiction dealing with some Spanish, or no, some English mercenary types dealing with some of that going on. So there's a lot of um, interesting... Um, send air volunteers. Um, we'll allow volunteer. And here, let's, well, let's create another. Uh, Horsey division. Okay, this is a good horsey division. And is this a good horsey division? Probably. Well, let's see about. Yeah. Thanks for following Thor Kaufman. Uh, oh, no, limited one. Okay. So let's kick out. Yes, good. Um, uh, 
Don't let the communists win, or they'll more than likely join the faction again. Yes, that's why we're, we're coming into it. Cousins of the South. Control all of Italy, you can. Um, restore the pre-1860 state under you. Oh, very good. The border madness, yeah. Well, we're at least going to try to keep this from becoming a unified situation with our volunteers. Come on, come on, transferring. 23rd, 29th. Didn't I send two divisions down there? Oh, did that somehow... I sent two divisions there and one division up here. Yes, sir. What? What? Okay, give him here. It'll take time to get here, but come up, come up to these mountains. Where am I? Well, they're still coming. Okay. Ah, oh, just another day. Yes, maybe since I sent the second one over here, they didn't like me. Okay, well, you just hang there. So, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I missed it. The second Velta Craig has happened. Denmark has joined the race. They are at war with uh, the German Empire. Is at war with the con. Uh, uh, Commenter. Okay, it looks like all of the syndicalist type powers they're at war with. You can aid the PSA and the American Civil War probably hold the mountains, but okay. Um, Uh. Oh, what a 
what's everybody saying? You show us who's who in what faction? Maybe, um, since back in the war, uh, war on the Republic, you can intervene since you guarantee. Um, I haven't been, I can check. I haven't been given specifically an option, I think, to be able to intervene. Um, okay, we will send them 10 units of tanks. And... Let's see, for, we'll give them... 10 units of aircraft monthly. I don't know if that, well, let's give a little more infantry unit, infantry equipment. Yeah, self propelled guns. Yeah. Well, no, actually, that was, we we're giving out stuff for the um, Pacific States of America to see if they can hold out. From the combined syndicalist of America. Trying to keep the syndicalist from becoming too big of a problem. Okay, well now that they have troops there, let's come here because we're going to do better not attacking across the water. And this force here, let's see. Oh, he is. House is in charge. Okay. Mostly, I don't think we're going to save them, but help that attack there. I thought I'd be able to send some more air power. I guess I'm not. Do I have any air wings I can attach here? Let's see. No, let, let me let me form an air wing and see if I can attach it. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's do that, and let's see if we can. I'm not sure if that's working right. Merry Christmas to you all. Uh, no, I'm not in the war as a participant. I've sent a volunteer force.
guess it's still deploying maybe it or uh, just doesn't like that it's a volunteer force oh I tried to um send volunteer air air volunteers yes And I have, well, I tried to form them and s Okay, that's allowing that, that's good. Skoda, very good. Very good. Uh, let's see, where do I have another fighter wing? I think, oh, way out here, yes. So now we have Skoda. So what I want to do, come over here. Uh, oh, let's. Started that too soon. Um, da, 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 da. Let's switch. Oh no 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 no! Cancel cancel. Um, no, that's not what I want to do. Okay. Um, I messed up with that. Let's come over here and switch to that. Yes. Now let's come here and switch to here. Research. Right. And I know it's just a little, but I want to come back and do this with the Skoda um, support here. Don't we have Skoda yet? Oh, no, we don't. Okay, I'm still messing this up, aren't I? So I'm supposed to come over here first and grab Skoda. Now I need to... No, cancel, cancel, cancel. Um, let's... I don't want to use that 100% bonus. Um, okay, now I'm going to come back over here. Uh, I was messing that up. Oh, doesn't it, we, can't we do medium now? What? What? I thought... Research armor technology. Oh, let me let a day go by. mess all that up badly. Oh, I didn't mean to. I want to get the 100% bonus for here. Oh well. I want that first. I'll throw Daimler. Bonus for industry. 30 days. Well, I want to pursue the decentralized scheme here to get a lot of these factories, I think. Yeah. 
Um, might just be throwing planes away depending on how bad the air superiority is, especially because I'm a better fan, probably throw the airplanes in as well. Yeah, I'll get some air, air XP, but I don't know that I need so much of that. But what we can see here is, well, some level of, well, that's gotten better. Now that these units are getting here. That got worse. Yeah, they're up flying here over Italy. Okay, we're going to end the episode, not the live stream, so no one needs to go anywhere. But those of you watching later on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for liking the videos. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Love to see you around more often. And of course, please post questions, comments, suggestions. See you next time for more Hearts of Iron.